This is Giovanni Campos. He's a former bus driver for a private company from Queens that was contracted to transport students in the Valley Stream Central High School District. He's accused of raping a 16-year-old Valley Stream student last year. According to a Newsday investigation, Campos had been fired nearly a decade ago from a previous job as a corrections officer at Rikers Island for an inappropriate relationship with a minor. During a disciplinary hearing in 2015, an administrative judge recommended Campos should be terminated from his position. Because he was never convicted, the case was sealed and the charges were eventually dropped, uh, he did not have to disclose it by law. Uh, however, he did have to meet the requirements for the case to be uh, sealed. And among these requirements was the sex offender program that he attended for six months. So how did he end up driving a bus filled with kids in Valley Stream? That's what parents want to find out. That's horrible. That's really horrible. I don't know why they, these people hired that type of people. According to state education department regulations, anyone applying to be a school bus driver is required to submit three letters of reference to the district attesting to their moral character. The district superintendent is then supposed to sign this approval form. Newsday filed a freedom of information request to try and find out whether the process was followed correctly. We requested from the school district um, any and all documents pertaining to Giovanni Campos, including three references that he should have provided to the school district when he was hired, and the uh, school superintendent's approval. And uh, these documents were not provided. Here's the application Campos filled out for employment with the Cheese Bus Company. As you can see, there's nothing listed for recent employment, and the entire reference section was left blank. Also, on the application from the bus company to the State Department of Motor Vehicles to get Campos a bus driver's license, previous employment is again blank. A lawyer for Cheese Bus tells Newsday the company complied with state law regarding background check requirements. The Pennsylvania Department of Education requires all employers and applicants to fill out this disclosure form. Basically, it asks if the applicant has ever been the subject of an investigation, told to resign, or been terminated from a position because of allegations of sexual misconduct or abuse. New York does not have the same law. They're supposed to be background checked properly because, you know, he said, this is the kid, this is our future. The kid's our future. The criminal case against Campos is still pending. He pleaded not guilty and is currently behind bars. There's also a civil lawsuit against him, the bus company, the school district, and Nassau County. The district superintendent told Newsday the district no longer uses the cheese bus company and that the district does not comment on pending litigation. In Valley Stream, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.